everybody. Um, I'm gonna make some breakfast, and Pete's gonna do a little bit on the boat, I think. What are you doing? Oh, taking that thing off up there? Oh, another dog. Good morning, Layla. Are you enjoying the sunshine? Mm. 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 Good morning. 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 Anyways, I'm gonna make some breakfast. <clears throat> it's a nice day out. We're gonna do a couple things on Norna and enjoy our day. Breakfast was delicious. I just gotta wa finish washing the dishes, and then maybe while I'm doing that, I'll get those girls ready. Oh yeah, maybe we'll find one at Sailors. Okay. I can heat that up and. Oh wow! Got it on there. Yep, I just gotta put a little caulking behind it and bolt it up. That's done. Brand new cut of bearing. Cool. And then. Uh, what you doing there? Just cleaning up this, uh, this is the shaft. Square pin or whatever. For the keyway for the, uh, for oh, the... Oh, keyway, that's right, that's for right. For the prop. Well, it's not the keyway, it's the... It's the key, I guess. The keyway would be the little groove that it goes on. I think it is. Mm -hmm. The prop's at the shop too, isn't it? Or did no, you here. bring it? Oh, you brought it here? Cool. And then we'll try the lanolin and see if the lanolin works. Some, that's some sticky stuff. Interesting to see. to see after it heats up, you know, you paint it on there if it gets hard. They say it does. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of hoping. Yeah. Cool. I'm going to finish doing dishes and then uh, I'll get these, get these girls to start getting ready. For those of you who wonder if the paw prints are still in the paint, they are. Right there and right there. Unfortunately, we got some tar or something right here. Maybe we can scrape it off though. That'd be sad to paint over it. Maybe we can... I can paint the black on the footprints and we can just paint around it or something. Finger. It's doing better. I gotta cut the nail now. It's starting to get much better. I'm gonna go to Sailors and get a couple things. Pete wants to get a new beefier turnbuckle for that bowsprit. We're also gonna get a pan to cook this lanolin in, so just a beater pan that we can just cook it up. You cook up the lanolin and then paint it on, and then when it hardens, then you got a nice... I guess it's supposed to keep the barnacles off. We'll see. Bottom paint doesn't work. And I guess prop speed, but they say that, that lanolin is very similar to prop speed. So, we're gonna test it out for you guys and tell you how it works. And this is the tool for uh, fixing the through hole that's by our sink. The, when we put that through hole in, Pete wanted to move where the handle was. And when he did, he broke the seal to the 5200. And uh, so now we gotta pull it back out and try it again. So this thing goes up in the through hole and you put a, a, a screwdriver through here to tighten it real tight or to hold it while he tightens it up top. So handy tool to have. I'm going to grab the broom and brush this out. Mm. So I'm going to take this off because look. Oh yeah. I'm going to take that off of there, unbolt it, and fix that wood like I've been doing the other routed out and fix a new piece. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to have to either put... I kind of like the rope idea. Yeah, but it's not working. It's making it flex and then that's causing that to rot. I'm either going to have to put a bolt in there or get a little tab off to the side that's, you know, angled and mm -hmm. bolt it through there and bolt it through this or something. So it holds it up and down. A couple pad eyes and then rope. Like that. Well, I need something wire. to hold it from, from going up and down. Get that rope. This is a, this rope right here is 
uh, double braid, which yeah. will stretch. Yeah. You can get stay set that doesn't stretch at all. No, that's not the point, though. Or Vectran. The point is, this is holding it from going up, my but nothing holds right. it from going down. Right. And that's what those, that way if you step on it, it doesn't break. The, see, see how loose it is on the down? Yeah. We'll see. Okay. So Pete's also thinking on the bowsprit of getting a pad eye for this part right here. So then when it's pulling, it's not pulling on, you know, if it's pulling sideways, it's not pulling on this one bolt. It's got a better load. And the pad eye, he can actually um, through bolt the pad eye. Yeah. And then it's got more load control instead of like one bolt going through it. Yeah, then you got something pressing against the wood that's not going to move and a through bolt. Yeah, so we're kind of improving the rig. Parts. I mean, less movement. Yeah. What I'm we're also improving the rig while we're out here too, because this actually broke when we were crossing the Atlantic, and that's why this is rope here. And we haven't changed it since then. It's been rope yeah, ever I'm since then. The whole board off of here and, and then look at the other side, and then we don't have to worry about that. Yeah. All right, so I thought I'd answer some questions too while I was, uh, had a little bit of downtime. Um, this is really cool, Hell of a Life actually posted this, and I've heard this remedy for seasickness before, but um, he had mentioned to put a, um, a foam earplug in one ear, and supposedly that stops the seasickness, but I'm definitely gonna try that. I wanna see if that works. So next time we go offshore, I'm gonna give it a try. Um, somebody had mentioned about the uh, sawdust for compost. We kind of thought about that. I know it makes really good kitty litter for for uh, being on the boat, sawdust. We haven't tried it for the compost though, but I bet it worked pretty good. Um, somebody asked, uh, Odds and Ends wrote, so where did you learn to write and draw? Um, I just always loved to draw and, and I've always loved to doodle when I was a kid, so it comes out as an adult. Major Agitator said the GoPro has a built-in heater to warm the battery when it gets cold. It's designed to get hot. He's talking about the GoPro because it kept getting hot. So that's pretty cool. All right. These aren't really questions. These are like good comments that I thought I'd mention. Really cool comments too. I really love some of these positive comments. Um, Sven L, I'm just gonna say that because I'm not sure how to say your last name. Um, he asked, are you guys going to need to do any copper repair? I remember seeing a few spots that had holes in the copper. Uh, yeah, we actually are thinking about, we've got some copper dust that we might mix in with some epoxy and put that into the little pin holes. And any of the bigger holes, we'll probably cut around it and check and make sure that there's tar and tar paper and then re patch that over with a new piece of copper metal with uh, copper nails, hammer that back on. And if there isn't any tar or tar paper, then we have to worry about worms getting in, in um, behind it and uh, eating the wood. But we haven't seen that problem as of yet. Paul Stratton asked, looking great, are you using marine type paint to paint and oil? You're supposed to, but being that we have a wood boat, um, what we're using is actually bare um, house paint. And we use that on the hull and it's working really good. It works good for, uh, it's actually a water-based paint, which is nice. And it holds up excellent. Um, it works for houses, and houses even at the beach have it on. So it's definitely working very nicely. And as for oiling, what we've been using is a, a bare uh, deck sealant. And it's kind of like a clear deck sealant. It works great. It's water-based as well. Um, you put on two real thin coats, and it's held up better than any varnish we've used. Um, down below we use, you know, varnish um, just because it looks nicer, it's shinier, whereas this stuff's more of an oiled look. Um, and also down below we use the bare um, house paint as well to paint the walls. And we also, we varnish our spars um, just because because we are kind of testing out the bare deck um, sealant, but it's been excellent. We haven't had any problems, haven't seen really any rot. Um, you know, if you saw us repair rot, but these are old rot pieces that we've known about. Um, so really nothing too bad. It's been looking really good. So 
We have tried oil-based paints. There are oil-based paints for wood. But this works just as good as oil-based and it's nicer to work with and it and uh, yeah, cheaper too. Um, Titus Tiger, he's a real good commenter. He always comments on our videos. Um, he said, one, I hope the guy who sold Pete the boat on the cheap sees these videos and all the work you and Pete and Ava do or does on it. Uh, yes, Fleming actually, we're friends with him online. Um, he does see the video, so it's really awesome, and he'll share them, and I think he's real proud of what's, uh, what's going on with the boat. I think he really wanted somebody who was willing to take care of the boat, and, um, yeah, so... Um, two, I know you have dreads, but when you played the reggae, then background music made me w wonder if you are a Rasta. Uh, I'm not a Rasta. Uh, I'm not a true Rasta. I have seen and met Rastas down in the Caribbean, um, down in the West Indies, and um, it's definitely a way of lifestyle. You don't eat meat, and you also don't drink alcohol, which are two things that I do. I do like um, a pork chop or some bacon or chicken, or, um, and I do enjoy a beer or a wine every once in a while. I don't drink heavy alcohol, but, um, so yeah. 24-7 ADT um, asked, how do you like your GoPro so far? I love it. Troy Reynolds asked, now that you've got a GoPro, is a drone next? I've seen the drone stuff. I don't know. I, I don't know. I wouldn't know how to use it. Supposedly there's a new kind of drone, though, that'll, like, has a GPS signal on you that'll follow you. It can, like, float in front of you or behind you or... They're coming out with some pretty crazy stuff. Zorn101 asked, How do you keep your snail from melting in the salt water? Now this probably seems like a weird question, because if you haven't watched the video, you probably don't understand. But at the very end of day 20, I talk about um, having a pet snail. We were in Italy, and uh, I didn't let him go in the salt water. I didn't want him to die. So what happened was, I actually kept him when we were offshore until we got to land, and then when we got to land, I put him on a, a stock of something to munch on. Summer Davis asks, if you both knew what you know now, would you still buy a wooden boat? Yes. <laughs> Paul Stratton asked, will you be doing any planking repair? I hope not. <laughs> Maybe. We did do it last year, um, but I hope I hope not. I don't, I don't think so, though. Um, Zoffinger. He was commenting about the toilet, the composting toilet. Yeah, he said, I have the same composter and see the occasional bug and moisture. Between you and I, I haven't hooked up the fan yet. I saw that you upgraded your fan. Was a little one that came with a nature's head not enough? Should I just go for a bigger fan right away? Yes, go for a bigger fan. The fan on the nature's head always breaks. Um, it's always been a problem with the nature's head. As for if you're getting bugs, it sounds really gross, but we have actually had it, that problem as well. What's happening is that your compost is, is too dry. Add a little bit of water to it, and that'll solve your bug problem. Jack Frowen asked, Courtney, will you post Pete's music on YouTube so we can all hear it? Yes, I will eventually. We're, since we're working on the CD, you know, stuff's not done or edited down, but as soon as we do get it edited down, I'll, I'll post it on here. Summer Davis asked, where did Pete get his mad skills with wood? I'm going to have to ask that question again and have Pete answer that one for you guys. And the correct answer is, I love this comment, love that look every time Pete says he didn't film. <laughs> anyway, that's all the questions for now. I'm going to ask Pete where he got his mad wood skills. We're all on there, Pete. <laughs> Stan, trying to stay warm. I know, it's chilly. Fifty two hundred, eh? Little, uh, something to spooch us with right now. Did Summer Davis ask where do you get your mad woods working skills? Oh, I didn't know I was on that. How'd you get your mad woodworking skills? Well, I had to make a living somehow. So I started. Working on building decks and stuff and houses when I was about 13, and, and then it's just basically reading and common sense about how things work and 
reading Wooden Boat magazine and different kinds of yeah, but I could read. Learning. I can read, and I still wouldn't understand. Well, I, I also had this skill set from you know being a carpenter, doing house carpentry for since I was thirteen. Ooh, I just noticed something. What did I say? I noticed a worm. A worm? Yeah. A part of the the key, a part of the pillar that's being eaten alive. You might want to pull this off because I noticed this under here. All right, here's pretty bad. That's totally eaten away. Mm. The metal. I didn't even start on the copper yet. We might want to. All right, let's see if we can tap that in and get a. That should be good. So you started building decks, and then what else? Hmm? You started building decks, and then what else? Yeah, working on houses, and then I bought a wood boat. When you were 20, right? Uh, I don't know when I got that. Or 19? No. that wood boat later on. But you had a little fiberglass boat and that's kind of how you, and as soon as you got a boat you had to start learning how to work on it. Right, that's right. Started with a fiberglass boat and then, uh oh. What? I have a, there's an adjustable wrench in the back here. Man. Okay. Okay. You want to come play? Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. You can't bark at him or you can't play. I'm not going to let you go over there when you're barking and growling. I'm going to think that you're going to eat him alive. You want to go play? Well, you can't be barking at him or then you can't go play. I'll let you play, but you got to be nice, okay? You gonna be nice? Come here. Okay, I think we'll... Now we gotta paint that lanolin on there. Yeah, I think we'll put some Loctite on this, uh, uh yeah. on this. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it up. Okay. I'm gonna we'll put Loctite on this one or just on the locking nut, you know? Yeah. I wonder if I should just go get the Loctite now. Bite at him. No, we'll heat up that lanolin and paint it on. When I get back. It's okay. easier to paint on in place than it would laying down because then you gotta flip it over. And yeah, really. But this thing, man, this thing. Look at that. No nice. more play. Nice. Sweet. Nice and snug, but yet it turns easy. Cool. Yeah, it's good. Everything went right back together like it should. Good. Yeah. That's a good sign. <laughs> okay, I got 5200 there for the through hole. Okay. It's probably gonna go bad though by the time we get to it. But we'll just dig into it a little deeper. You know what I mean? Put some Loctite on. Yeah. My foot just got wet. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have a wrench mm -hmm. big enough. That's probably, I have 52 on it. had some dinner, taken some showers, and make, made some cookies. Mm. Oh, I know what I was going to do. Pandora. Um, we're just going to chill out the rest of the night, so I'll see you guys tomorrow.